Hello friends, welcome to my review of the Panasonic FZ200 bridge camera. I've been using this for more than two months and I'm really confident enough to take a review of this camera. And first of all I would like to talk about the basic specs. Got a 12.1 megapixel high sensitivity MOS sensor with the Venus processing engine which does a really great job. It's fast, it's quick, everything is just awesome and the basic optical zoom is 24x here you can see uh, that is 25 uh, with a wide angle of 25 millimeters going up to 600 millimeters and got full HD video recording uh, ISO range about 100 to 3200 you can extend it to 6400 but please don't do that and also have uh, slow motion video capturing capabilities in high definition and um, let's explain these features for now uh, first the really catching point of this camera is the lens it has got a Leica uh, DC Vario Elmot lens and the best thing about the lens is that it have an f2.8 aperture throughout the entire zoom range it's just superb and epic I don't really have any words to explain uh, what it can do uh, I'll just give some points at full zoom range you don't really need to use higher ISO settings to get a faster shutter speed and eventually it turns out you'll get images with less blur and more sharpness and also you have another benefit that with those uh, bigger aperture you get a shallow depth of field which gives the images a DSLR kind of feel which is just awesome I have to say that I've never seen any camera with such a beautiful brilliant brilliant lens it's just epic and the second thing I want to talk about is the ergonomics everything about this camera is just brilliant you can just hold on this camera for hours together and don't feel tired just amazing and the button layouts are just superb you can just hold with one hand you can just turn the wheel and again you can take pictures just amazing uh, you can see the buttons layout here shutter button the uh, zoom lever the video capturing uh, burst mode function one which is does on off you got a hot shoe with stereo mic super works superbly you got an EVF uh, playback button of autofocus lock button which can also be used as function two button function three button display button various buttons here including ISO white balance timer menu delete the uh, EVF to LCD change button and also you have a zoom lever which can also be used as manual focus button and also various focusing modes autofocus manual focus in, in the bottom and also autofocus at macro level in the middle and the ergonomics I have never felt I have used many cameras before including many DSLRs and I have never felt so happy with the button layout and the whole feel of the camera it's just amazing you can do anything you want it's just the best the most ergonomically built camera or any gadget I have ever used it's just brilliant the third thing I want to talk about is the image quality hands down the 12.1 megapixel um, sen a high sensitivity mouse sensor can produce superb images it's sharp it's vivid and the colors are like lifelike and it got a shutter speed ranging from 60 seconds to 1 by 4000 of a second which means it's you can um, obviously sh shoot anything you throw at it it's just amazing the only problem I got is the uh, ISO the noise at ISO range anything you go about 400 ISO or even 800 if you can tweak a little bit anything about 400 or 800 is just gonna ruin the picture at 800 you can still manage something by uh, editing 
uh, with many other softwares like Photoshop with noise reduction. You can just manage the pictures, but it's not going to be brilliant. I say don't go about about 400 or 800 if you don't have any other choice. Um, and the shooting modes uh, got a 12 frames per second um, in RAW or JPEG, 5.5 frames per second with autofocus and 2 frames per second with autofocus and all this with the mechanical shutter. And also it got 60 or 40 frames per second at 2.5 megapixel or 5, uh, 5 megapixel with the electronic shutter. It just works brilliantly, you have to see for yourself. And the next thing, the fourth thing I want to talk about is the video capturing capability. Hands down again. It's just amazing. In AVCHD format, it can take full high definition 1080p video at 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second, uh, depending upon the region you are in. At uh, also, it, the bitrate is 28 megabits a second, and in MP4 format, you can also capture 1080p videos at 25 frames per second. But uh, it's sharp. It's good. The colors are everything is good, great, but it's not as smooth. As you you know see from the AVCHD, it's obvious that the frame rates are really different. And the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, image stabilization. The Power OIS system used by Panasonic is one of the best in the market. The best in the market right now. Uh, it's just brilliant. Works brilliant uh, in video and also in um, the. Uh, image shooting um, occasions is just amazing though I had some problem while shooting videos when it just loses that uh, image stabilization for about two to four seconds but it comes back again it's just annoying sometimes you have to keep in mind that but maybe it's just a problem with my uh, piece but apart from that the power OI system is just brilliant brilliant the next thing I want to talk about is the light speed autofocus system. My god, I have never seen anything focuses like this before. It's just super fast, just super quick. It's awesome and it's spot on. But again, in the video front, if you are zooming anything, uh, um, uh, you know, anything in the short distance and you're going. Uh, to something you're gonna focus on something that is really far away and you're gonna it's gonna focus without any problem with the, at, at all but if you come back again it's gonna uh, do an entire scan of the whole range of focusing area and then it's gonna come and focus into this point it does that sometimes but it does okay most of the time but it's uh, I find it a bit of a problem apart from that the autofocus system is just brilliant then the two displays, the seventh thing I want to talk about. The EVF, oh my god, it's just brilliant. 1.3 million dots display at 60 hertz. I hope you can see, but not so sure. It's just brilliant. And it's coupled with um, rotating 270 degree rotating uh, LCD screen at 460. Uh, thousand dots it's just amazing uh, it is really good it's bright it's vivid and the most epic thing I want to talk about is that I really like um, Panasonic did something with the screen I mean you can really view it on direct sunshine without any problem at all it's just brilliant and the eighth thing I want to talk about is the various scene modes, the creative modes. It got 18 scene modes, which includes 3D, panorama, and HDR. Everything just works brilliantly. And also 14 creative modes, which includes one point color, miniature, and high type dynamic. And also the shooting modes include the regular PASM, the program, aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual. manual. It just works brilliantly, and also you have 
the intelligent auto and also the intelligent auto plus where the camera uh, selects the scene mode you are shooting in automatically and it applies and it just uh, shoot that sort of it just works brilliantly and the another thing I want to talk about is the uh, fully manual control of your video I'll show that Here's the video mode, and here you have program auto, the aperture priority, shutter priority, manual exposure. Here you can control anything. You can control the shutter speed. You can control the um, aperture, and also while recording, you can control. You can change the shutter speed while on the record. It's just amazing. And also you can change the aperture while recording the video. Only a few cameras at this range can do that. I don't have, I, don't, I never have seen any camera which can do this. It's just brilliant. It's epic. Panasonic, um, you just created one of the best our cameras ever I don't really have any words then the last thing the ninth thing I want to talk about is the battery life Panasonic claims that this battery can uh, shoot 540 shots on a single charge but believe me on this uh, I did a battery test and I got 649 shots yes you heard that right 649 shots which includes 29 raw uh, photos and also 11 minutes of ABCHD full HD video capture ain't that amazing I was surprised and it it has always given me a 540 plus shots every single time so the battery life is just amazing you have to believe me on that and if you don't trust me you can ask other uh, people who use the same camera it's just amazing all in all um, I hope I have covered everything um, in this review it's just amazing if you have any doubts about this camera if you have um, anything relating to camera phones computers you can ask me you can subscribe to my channel anything you want to do I just um, Ah, also I just want to mention you that the uh, this is the flash you have to open this flash manually all the time it won't open automatically but that's one and another thing uh, except for that everything about this camera is just brilliant so that's it uh, my friends uh, please comment on my video if you have any queries any doubts you can comment below you can subscribe to my channel and also I will be posting the video samples uh, I have posted some video samples and also uh, image samples from this camera so check my channel out and if you have any queries uh, please uh, don't feel um, don't hesitate to contact me or comment below uh, thanks uh, guys uh, so like the video if you like thank you bye bye